Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is December 28, 2015. It is 1049 a.m. here in a very cold, snowy central Wyoming. It is it's Monday morning. It is 13 degrees out, but uh, real field temperature is 13 below. The high will be 18 and the low will be 4. Um... Been up for a while, of course, you know, the whole song and dance, fiddle fart around with the animals and doing my, uh, testing my, my blood and doing my injection for the diabetes and stuff. Uh, I did, um, I'll get to that in a minute, but what, what I do to, that's helping with the IBS. Um, wasn't feeling real good yesterday. Um, I haven't been feeling, feeling very good for a few days now, and I, I thought at first it was probably, um, because, you know, we ate more, and we, we, we ate more carbs and sugar than we normally do, with us both being diabetics, and, you know, our blood sugar reflected that, you know, so yesterday we knocked it way back, um. Uh, which did help some, but then I, I had my suspicions for a few days, and, and now I know that I was right, uh, that I have a uh, bladder infection or a kidney infection. Um, mine always goes into the kidneys anymore. Um, so I'll need to get treated for that, you know, do my treatment for that. Um, and, and I knew my suspicions were that, you know, I had the lower uh, back pain, um, you know, and some other classic symptoms when I get an infection and an immense headache and also extremely tired. And and that's what it is. I know I, you know, I know I know all the, yeah, my other friends that have a problem with it, too, you know, all the symptoms, you know. So, um. That explains a lot. Uh, it's like right now I've got such a bad headache that it's just, you know. Um, but I'll get on the antibiotics and I'll take some aids of health with some of the irritation and pain. Um, and that'll be that. What else? Um, yesterday we... Um, didn't didn't do well we did some stuff but let me let me explain since I wasn't feeling real hot and my husband was in a lot of pain his sciatic on his left side was acting up really badly um, and so we were doing where we would rest it and then when we would we would exercise it and when it's sciatica you know it's like when anybody sciatica is acting up uh, it hurts to sit you know, so you really need to extend that leg out and everything, take as much pressure off as possible, you know, because that whole nerve is inflamed and flaring. So we were doing that, but I'm the type that I like my Christmas decorations down right after Christmas. Um, I like to put them up. Uh, you know, sometimes we'll start on Thanksgiving Day or the day after, a couple of days after, um, putting them up. Nothing gets lit until Thanksgiving night, just our tradition, and, but then right after Christmas, I like that stuff down, um, my husband's pretty much the same way, but it drives me crazy, <clears throat> because what happens with the Christmas decorations being out, is I feel like uh, everything is cluttered, and everything is, is combobbled, I mean, uh, you know, we're not one to have a lot of knickknacks sitting around. Um, if we do, they're up on shelves because I don't like them sitting around on tables and stuff. It just drives me nuts. And that's just me. I think they're pretty in other people's homes, but they're more of a nuisance for me to have clean all the time. You know, <laughs> if, if, if I've got to move them to dust and everything all the time, I don't know if they're high up on shelves. I guess I don't, don't notice. I'd like to get a Cheerio cabinet. Yeah, someday, or have my husband build one. That would be nice to be able to put some of the stuff in. Anyway, 
He was so nice because I told him, I said, I feel so claustrophobic. This is a small front room. And then they took part of it before we bought the house. Somebody decided it would be a grand idea to take one whole corner of this very small front room and put a, a build a fireplace in it, catty corner. Really? First of all, we don't use fireplace because we've never, I'm allergic to wood smoke. It's one of the reasons we don't camp out too much. Um, and But we used the fire logs, and we did that for the first couple of years. But you really should have your chimney stack inspected every year, you know, so you don't get, um, uh, you know, in case there's a crack, it'll, you know, burn your house down. So, you know, we've got it blocked off. But it takes, you know, it takes up a lot of the kitchen or a lot of the front room. You know, and like my husband said, if you didn't have this wall here and everything, that would open that all up into the kitchen. But anyway, it's a small front room, and we all seem to congregate together. Um, so, you know, my husband and I will both be out here, and all the animals, the four dogs, two of who are big, and the two cats, and stuff. So, you know, ow, tumble, mmm. He got me right in the leg. It hurt with his claws. Um, you know how when they do that and it just really hurts? Stop it. Now, I'm going to get you if you don't quit. Leave me alone while I do this. Wow. I love you, Jasper. Come here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. But you got to be nice. Do you know how often he does that to me when I'm making a, a, a vlog? It's like, pay attention to me now. Um, but anyway, he took down the Christmas stuff for me, because we're, you know, deciding what we're, we're taking with us and what we're not, and we're just going to take one box of Christmas stuff to Florida, and uh, we're not even going to probably take the tree with us, we're probably going to donate it, um, you know, it's old enough, we've probably had at least eight years now, um, Christmas trees, um, you know, we don't really care if we have one, quite frankly. I mean, it's just us, and you can hang ornaments off a strand of garland and lights off of anything. So, you know, we'll decide later on if we want to have a tree or not. Um, if so, I like maybe get one of those white ones, one of the white pre-lit ones or something. Who knows? Um, so he did that, and I, you know, did a bunch of dishes and stuff, uh, but that was nice. And then we rearranged the front room a little bit. We were able to shove some stuff back, rearrange some stuff, um, so I don't feel so boxed in. Because literally I've got animals, like, all, all around me, and it's hard for me to even get up. <laughs> so um, that's all we did, and I just worked on, this, on the shawl a little bit. Um, not too much more progress. I mean, I have my marking pig right here. But, um, yeah, it's coming along. Yeah, it's going to be very pretty. So, um, just working on that, taking it a little bit easier. We've been making, you know, talking a lot, making more plans about moving and stuff. Um, Today, I'm going to do some cleaning. I'm going to vacuum and uh, and dust really well because uh, um, now that we have the Christmas stuff down. Um, and <clears throat> then um, I think I'm just going to kind of take it easy after I do that because, like I said, I'm still not feeling real perky. Um work on the shawl, because this evening my husband gets off, we need to um, go into town and we need to get a few things, he needs to cash a check, and then we need to pick up a few things from the store, because, you know, kind of gearing up, because everybody's going to be doing the New Year's Eve deal, um, so, you know, we need, we need to just get a few things, um, 
to tide us over. We don't need much. We need more yogurt um, and stuff. Uh, and one thing I found with, for me with the IBS, <clears throat> excuse me, is I take a lot of my medication when I get up, like right before I come on here, I take all my Lasix and I have prescription uh, potassium that goes with the Lasix. And I think since I take my, my Victoza injection and then I take that and I wasn't eating anything, I think it's all too much on my stomach. So what I started doing was I started eating a yogurt in the morning because I'm not I don't really like to eat breakfast so I eat a yogurt early in the in the morning and then I take my medication and that seems to really help with the IBS of course I am taking um it's like a prescription it's a generic of a Zantac 150 the generic version and I take that every morning too um that does seem to really help and then um if I do run into issues, I do take some, two of the anti-diarrhea tablets, uh, and that usually does it, but that, I think the key is, is for me, and I don't know if the other people can try it or not, is eating something before I start taking all that medication, because, you know, it's just too much for my system. I tell my husband, I kind of have to ease my body in the morning back into eating, if I do that, and then a couple hours later eat some lunch, then it's okay. Otherwise, it's a new go boon. Who knew? Mmm. Aren't you glad you know that? So, um, something else I was going to tell you guys. What was it? Oh, I wanted to talk a little bit about healing yourself from the inside out. And what I'm talking about, and this is just my experience on what's happened in my path and stuff, is uh, letting go of the things that have happened in the past, not, not to benefit anybody but yourself. Um, for me, I've found that being able to let go of, of what's happened in my childhood and my first marriage and other things in my past has really really benefited me so much as in giving me a sense of peace I'm not saying forgetting it but not harboring on it because you can't change the past all you can do is learn from it but if you spend too much time reflecting on it it's almost like spending too much time reflecting on an image in the mirror you don't ever see anything else. You don't ever grow. And for me, once I could just let go of the fact that my family is not close and they're not ever going to be, there's not anything I can do about it. Then it was like, okay, you know, this is what I have. This is my life. Okay, it's not how I pictured it would be as I got older. You know, we all picture that we'll be the grandparents with all the big happy family around and the children and la da 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 And for a lot of us, that doesn't happen. That's not how it is. That doesn't make us less than... <clears throat> that doesn't make us less loving grandparents. It doesn't make us less than... We all have our different different reasons why things have happened or uh, things aren't happening or whatever and quite frankly I really enjoyed immensely this Christmas with it just being my husband and I there was no stress there was no hurry scurry there was no it was just nice and peaceful and quiet and we really enjoyed it um, but once I, I realized that um, if I could go back, I really wouldn't want to repeat things in the past anyway. Then I was fine with it. It no longer hurt. It no longer made me sad or depressed. And sure, once in a while, I still have feelings and, and reflect a bit too much. You guys have seen videos on that where I'm, you know, tearful and sad and stuff. And, and uh, but I've learned to talk about it and then let it go. You know, could you... 
If you stay stuck on past events, you're never going to move forward. And like I said, this is just my viewpoint and how I deal with things. But, you know, for years I stayed stuck on a lot of PTSD that really, really just kept coming up and replaying and replaying and replaying until I finally had to go, I'm not going to think about this anymore because, you know, a therapist will tell you, keep talking about, keep talking about. Well, you only can talk about so much. You know, I mean, you only can tell, tell the um, timeline of events so much. It's not going to change. And for me, if I talk about it too much, then I just start, it starts triggering so hard. And it's like, no, I need to come to terms with it. And then I need to let that memory go, you know, and go on with my life. So, um, anyway, I don't think I've ever done so well psychologically as I'm doing right now and, 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 and being happy and stuff. Um, I wish no ill will on any, but any family member I have or any, any <clears throat> former friends or anything. I wish them all well in their life. Uh, you know, we were connected for the time that I feel that we were supposed to be connected in each other's life. And then we've all moved on. And, you know, I'm just very excited. And I'm very excited about the future. And I'm very excited about this new adventure we're going on. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to start really working hard on packing up the house more. Um, you know, and, um, uh becoming a lot more physically active, even more so. Um, I'm back where all my flexibility is back that I had lost. Um, you know, and for the most part, I'm able to walk pretty well uh, without too much pain, uh, you know, around the house and stuff. And I'm going to be working on uh, uh, being able to walk through the stores more and more. Um, that's getting easier, too. So, anyway... That's all I got going on. I hope you guys had a, a very good Christmas. Um, if you're wondering why you're not really hearing us talk about New Year's Eve, is we don't really do anything for New Year's Eve. We don't see it as any big deal. We don't really, we don't cook. An, after Christmas, last thing I want to do is cook another big meal for, for New Year's Day. Why would you want to, to me, why do I want to start out the new, the, the new year cooking another big meal? And it is as far as, as drinking the night before New Year's Eve, why do I want to start out the first day of the new year with a hangover? No, thank you. We never did even have any rum or anything, uh, or any kind of alcohol in our eggnog. We just, you know, had it cut half and half with milk like we normally do, and, and still, we still got half a container of it in there. Um... But, yeah, we just didn't, we're like, no, don't really care to. So, um, you would just uh, probably go to bed around the nor normal time. I know we may still be up, um, but it won't be any big big deal at all. Um, uh, you know, and uh, same way with New Year's Day, it'll just be another day. I'll be glad when the holidays are done because it's messing up our schedule. So, you know. But anyway, if the, if you are one of those that, that do enjoy going out on New Year's Eve and stuff, um, please be safe. I mean, we probably would go out and do something if there was anything to do. It is way too cold here in Wyoming to go do anything. Um, we're not shoppers, and um, there's nothing. You can't go do anything outside unless you can tolerate the very cold weather. Now, next year when we're in Florida and stuff, you know, it might be a day we go fishing. Or it might be a day that we go along the beach or whatever. So, you know, or maybe it's the day that we're out in our garden. Because I love to garden, too. I love to fish. I love to garden. I love to do crafts. And I love to play with my animals. Anyway, I love you guys. And I cherish you. And I think you're pretty awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.